Yo, it's that Jit, Young God A, man. I'm back with another video. I just got finished working out, man. I just had to do some pull-ups. So that's why I got the gloves on, man. I was getting that grinding. Yo, shit, what you doing, fam? <laughs> what you doing, boy? Hey. We leaving soon, we leaving soon. Yeah, y'all, boy, I just had to put that grind in, man. I did 50 pull-ups and 100 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? The amount of pull-ups you do, you double it with the push-ups. So if you do 20 pull-ups, you do 40 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? You do 50 pull-ups, you do 100 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? You do 10 pull-ups, you do 20 push-ups. Like, double it. Up and down, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, the weather beautiful right now. Got the tree behind me. Yes, sir, got the tree behind me. Yes, sir, let's talk about uh, discipline, man. Discipline, discipline, discipline. You know what I'm saying? Discipline is, what is discipline? You know what I'm saying? Discipline is doing what you got to do even when you don't want to do it. Getting what you got to get done even when you don't feel like it. So, for example, working out, you don't feel like working out that day, but you still work out. You don't feel like making money that day, but you still got to make money to provide for your kids. You know what I'm saying? Discipline is doing something when you don't feel like doing it. You know what I'm saying? Doing what's right. You know what I'm saying? Even when you don't feel like it. That's discipline. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like discipline goes hand in hand with self-control. Self-control is being able to control self. It's in the name. Sustain self. You know what I'm saying? Doing what you got to do. Even um, controlling yourself. Controlling your urges. Controlling your eating habits. Controlling your lungs. Self-control and discipline go hand in hand. I feel like they go hand in hand together. But you need both. You need both in your life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, practice discipline, man. Practice, do like, set, set goals for yourself and make sure you accomplish them. Like, say this. I'm gonna make sure I, I'm gonna make sure I run three miles today. Make sure you do those three miles. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to build discipline. Just don't stop lying to yourself. You know what I'm saying? To build discipline, you gotta stop lying to yourself. Don't say you go do something and then you never do it. Like people say, oh my New Year's resolution, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds, and they never do it. You know what I'm saying? Stop lying to yourself. When you lie to yourself, you can't trust yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can lie to anybody else, but you can't lie to yourself. You can run away from anybody else, but you can't run away from yourself. You know what I mean? You got to live with yourself. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, you got to live with yourself. You can't lie to yourself 24-7. Be more honest and set, set honest goals for yourself. Don't set goals that you know you can't reach yet. Set goals that you know you're able to reach. You know what I'm saying? And discipline is important. Discipline can go a long way. You know what I'm saying? Some kids are raised with discipline. If you have good parents or if you have both parents in your life, most of those kids are raised with discipline. They know right from wrong. They know no means no. They know when to stop. You know what I'm saying? They have self-control. You know what I'm saying? Like some kids, some kids really don't have discipline because they ain't have the right foundation. They ain't have the right parents to show them right from wrong. So they had to learn from themselves. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes people don't build discipline until they're like 20 years old. You feel me? Because discipline can be, it could be something you're raised with or it could be something you just develop over time. You know what I mean? Thank God, I'm fortunate. I had both parents in my life. You know what I'm saying? Not in the same household, but in my life. My father was in my life. My, mo my mother was in my life. I think the ancestors for that. I wouldn't be who I am without them. Cause they shaped and and molded me to who I am today. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, some kids don't have that. You know what I'm saying? So discipline could be something you're born with or it could just be something you develop over time. Like people go to jail and they learn discipline in jail. Cause the rules in jail ain't the same rules out here. You can act reckless over here, out here in the free world. But when you behind the bars, you're limited. You know what I'm saying? That's when respect comes in. You gotta respect certain people because what they because of what they can do to you. You know what I'm saying? 
there's a certain respect level and discipline when you were in in the in the system you can't be reckless like out here man so yeah discipline goes a long way discipline can save your life you know what i'm saying like for example you get pulled over by a cop discipline can can you know what i'm saying could stop you in that moment instead of getting mad and arguing with the cop you could keep it short and simple stay calm cool and collective and you could walk away with your life instead of trying to argue with the cop blah 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 trying to be the bigger man letting your ego come out then you don't walk away with your life you see the difference discipline can be really discipline is really useful out here man especially in today's system you got to know when to stop because for a black man and a black woman it's one strike you out ain't no three strikes one strike you out one mistake could mess up your whole life you know what i'm saying one mistake could put you behind bars one mistake can get you killed so discipline is important especially for the black family we must know right from wrong we must discipline our youth, you know what I'm saying? Because the youth is out of control now, man. Including my generation, because I'm part of the youth as well. But we out of control, bitch. <laughs> we reckless. Niggas, um, you know what I'm saying? We reckless. It's a good thing to some extent, because we not scary. My generation, we not scary, man. We head first. We the crash, we the, we the crash dummy generation, bro. We the crash dummy generation. We head first. You know what I'm saying? People mess with one of our family or close relatives head first. No no questions asked. You know what I'm saying? We we not scary compared to like the, the, the previous generations. Y'all was more scary and shit. Y'all was scared to start a revolutionary. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was scared to start a revolution because y'all was scared and shit. So, hey! Yo, see! I talk to my dog. Woo. Yo. Yo, see? This fuck nigga don't listen. Yeah, man. Y'all y'all was on, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I gotta handle this shit real quick. Busy. Ay ay ay. Yo, come here, come here, boy, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, come on. Raw and uncut, bitch. Come on, come on. Has a lot being barked at. <laughs> All right, I can't even do nothing about that because that's a that's a dog's job. You know what I'm saying? They they here to protect the owner. So hey, this raw and uncut. I don't cut nothing. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Y'all, the previous generations, like 50 and up, maybe 40 and up. Y'all was scary, mom. Like some of y'all was scary, bro. That's the good thing about our generation. We had first, we ain't scared to start a revolution. The young, the young boys out here, we ain't scared to start a revolution. You know what I'm saying? But that goes back to discipline. You gotta know when, when the timing is right. You can't just come out here and just try to attack everybody. You gotta play smart. You know what I'm saying? So discipline goes a long way. Practice discipline, y'all. Set goals for yourself and make sure you accomplish them. Don't lie to yourself. We ain't lying to ourselves no more. You know what I'm saying? Stop lying to yourself. Stop saying you go do something and you don't do it. We ain't doing that no more. That's dead. One love, y'all. Peace.